Okay, any pains or injuries? Good. All right, then. Good day, everyone. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through upindi.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Today's class is Intermediate Advanced Lab, Level 2, Level 3. If you're working with any kind of special conditions or limitations, make sure that you do modify or skip poses altogether, making good decisions about your movement practice so that you don't create any injuries or perpetuate any injuries. If your hips or your low back are tight, please elevate and sit up on some blocks or some blankets so that you can find a comfortable cross-legged position with a lengthy, tall spine. Let the palms face up. Fingers come to Gana Mudra, thumb and index fingers touching. And as you ground evenly through your seat, elongate through your spine, and let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three ohms together, inhale. Um. Um. the eyes closed, hands together in prayer on front of the heart, pressing your thumbs into your heart, heart back into your thumbs, lifting the heart up toward the sky, setting your intention for yoga practice, devoting your practice to someone or something or to yourself, your supreme self that lives within your heart, chanting the mantra for purification, purifying the space in which you practice yoga, call and response. Om Pavitraha, Om Pavitraha, Pavitrawa, Pavitrawa, Sarva Vushtan, Sarva Vushtan, Gato Piva, Gato Piva, Yaha Smarit, Yaha Smarit, Pundrikaksham, Pundrikaksham, Sapahya, Sapahya, Pihyandraha, Pihyandraha, Suchihi, Suchihi. Beginning to open the eyes, palms face up, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand, left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest, big circles with the head in one direction, ear to one side, roll it back, opposite side, roll the center, a few more rounds. Chin back toward the chest, pause, and then taking the opposite direction. And chin back toward the chest, lifting the chin parallel to the floor and reach your spine. Extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Hands support to either side and turning your toes toward each other. And then roll them out. Draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling. Back to center, switch them around. And back to center again, cross your shins, take the opposite crossing of the legs. 
Take the arms up, extend, twist to the right on the exhale. Back to center, arms up. Twist to your left. Center again. Side bends, right hand down, left arm overhead. Take it back up, other side. Back up again, legs forward, forward fold. Release, soles of feet together, knees apart, and butterfly your knees. Take it back to stillness with your hands. Outer rotation, slightly back behind you. As you lift your chest, draw the shoulders back, engaging upper back, kissing your shoulder blades toward each other, and then gently looking up, making sure that the back of the neck is still supported, and opening up the front bodies. If you want to then actively Draw the outer thighs toward the floor to give yourself even more outer rotation through your um, inner thighs, inner hip joints. And start to release, come back to neutral, keep your right hand behind you, left hand gently pressing your inner left thigh away from you. Release, switch sides. Right hand, pressing in our right thigh away. Release, draw the left heel in, right heel back, ladder S with your legs. Walk your hands over to your left side, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and bow forward halfway. Stopping at the halfway point, inhale again. Exhale, twist deeper, bow forward even more. Inhale, release, make your way back up, keep the legs, counter twist to the right. Back to center, left hand to the floor, lift the feet, right arm up and across the collarbone, back in space. Right arm up and over the right ear, toward the left side, side stretch. Release, take the seat back down. Draw the left heel in closer. Swing the right leg all the way around. See the spinal twist. Right hand behind you, left arm is up, inhale. Exhale, twist. Release, back to center. Counter twist to the left. Back to center, release your right leg, center your seat and take a half lotus. Top of the right foot to your left hip crease. And then again, with the hands slightly back behind you, outer rotation, lift the chest, gently looking up, broaden. Then take the gaze to look forward, press into your fingers with the neutral spine, leading with the heart center forward, coming into forward fold. You can move your hands forward and keep moving your hands forward Look for lengthiness to your spine first, and then once you get to your maximum, then you can start to release your head and bow forward. You can keep your arms extended. If you have the range, you can take your forearms down. And begin to release, make your way back up. Extend the right leg out to the side. Flex your foot strongly and then press your right hand to inside the right leg, left arm overhead and side bend over to the right. Take back center, left hand to the floor, lift the seat, right arm overhead and extend. And then thread the needle, right arm under and twist. Take it back up, re-extend through your right arm first. Take the seat back down, switch sides. Right heel comes in, left heel goes back. A reverse letter S with your legs. Walk your hands over to the right, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist, bow forward, halfway. Stopping at the halfway point, inhale again, exhale, twist deeper, bow forward even more.
Inhale, release, take it back up. Counter twist to the left. Back to center, right hand to your floor, lift the seat. Extend the left arm up and across the collarbones. Raise your left arm back up over the left ear toward the right side, side stretch. Release, take the seat back down. Draw the right heel in closer, swing the left leg all the way around. See the spinal twist. Left hand behind you, right arm is up, inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, counter twist. Release. Center your seat, half lotus, top of the left foot to your right hip crease. Outer rotation with your hands, slightly back behind you. Lift your chest, broaden, gently looking up. Start to look forward, press your fingertips into the floor. As you lead forward with the heart center, coming into forward fold, and then start to adjust your hands forward, Keep walking forward with the length of your spine. And then once you get to your maximum, then you can release your head and the upper back. And then if you have to range, forearms down. Release, make your way back up. Support the left leg. Extend the left leg out to your side and flex your left foot strongly. Press your left hand inside the left leg, right arm overhead, and side bend over to the left. Take it back to center, right hand down, step the left foot down, reach up and over, extend. Thread the needle, left arm under to twist. Re-extend, left arm to the side, and then take the seat back down. Extend the left leg forward, extend the right leg forward. Separate your feet a little bit wider than mat swift. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, grabbing the inner feet or inner legs. Re-lengthen your spine. Exhale, deep in the fold. Make your way back up. Separate your feet a little bit wider. Left hand to the floor, right arm forward. Bend your right elbow. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, twist. Draw back. Twist again. Right hand to outer left leg. Left hand further back to adjust. And then deep in the twist. Square back, second side, right hand to the floor, left arm forward, bend your left elbow, inhale, draw back, exhale, twist, draw back, and twist, draw back, and twist, left hand, outer right leg, right hand further back, and deepening the twist. Release, back to center. Step the right foot down. Uh, the right toes point out so that you end up with 90 degrees with your legs. Once you're set, twisting to the right. Back to center. Counter twist to the left. Back to center, skandasana, left hand to grab the right ankle, side bend over your left leg, right arm overhead. Or if you can bind the hand to the foot, take the bind. Release, make your way back up, switch legs. Right leg out, step the left foot down, measure 90 degrees with your legs, twist to the left. Release, 
counter twist to the right. Release Skandasana, right hand, grab the left ankle, side bend over your left leg. Either just extend the left arm uh, overhead, or binding the left hand to the right foot. Release, make your way back up. Extend the left leg out, go even wider. Hands at, back behind you, outer rotation. Supporting with your palms or your fingers, lift the gaze upwards. Broaden your shoulders, engaging up the back. Then take the gaze to look forward. Walk your hands in a little bit. Keeping a neutral spine and a slight upper back bend here. Lean forward through the heart center, leaning and leading forward. Once you get to a certain point and you start to round, then you need to stop, readjust. And then if you want to take the hands forward, Keep your hands supporting as you keep working further and further forward to pancake toward the floor to the best of your abilities. You have three more breaths. All right, begin to make your way back up with your hands to your inner thighs. Pull up, take the soles of feet together, move the feet slightly further forward, Tadasana, grabbing the inner feet, or threading the arms underneath, and round to draw forward in your forward fold. Take it back up, draw the inner knees toward each other, swing the legs back, down dog, start to pedal out the legs, walking it out side to side. All right, take it back to stillness in the down dog. Inhale, raise your right leg up, three-legged dog. Right knee in toward the nose and around. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick it back up. Knee comes into twist, touch the left arm. Kick it back up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee to outside of the right arm and touch and hold it. Three, two, three. One, kick it back up, stepping your right foot forward. Warrior one. Keep the hands together and pray. Interlace your fingers, press your palms forward, up and back, gently looking back into a back bend. Take it back up to vertical release. Warrior one, open it up. Warrior two, reverse warrior, side angle. Extended side angle, left palm face down, reach forward. All the way back up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, right foot, stepping back plank. Inhale, one breath, exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. I hope there's not glass in here. All the way down. Hands alongside the rib cage. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift up even higher. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, even higher. Full extension of your arms if you have it. All the way down. Child's pose. See toward the heels and fold. And down dog. Inhale, left heel up. Left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm and touch. 
kick back up. Knee comes into twist, touch your right arm, kick back up, open up the hips, bend the left knee, and then left knee to outside have the left arm in touch and hold. Three, two, one, kick back up, stepping, left foot forward, warrior one. Hands together in prayer, interlace with the opposite thumb on top, reach your palms forward and up into a back bend. Back up to vertical, warrior one, open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, side angle. Extended side angle, right palm to face down, reach forward. All the way back up, reverse warrior. Hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. In a one breath, exhale all the way down to the belly. Three progressive cobras, lift up baby cobra. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, a little higher. Exhale, almost all the way down. Inhale, even higher. And hold. All the way down. Child's pose, seat toward the heels and fold. Down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee. Right knee outside of the right arm in touch. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick back up. Knee comes into twist again and hold it. Three, two, one. Kick back up. Stepping your right foot forward. Warrior one. Expand the arms out to a T. Draw the arms further back into back bend. Come back to vertical. Reach your arms forward and round just your mid and upper back, chin toward the chest. Raise your arms up, lean it back again into your back bend and your warrior one. Back to vertical, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, triangle. Extended triangle. All the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor. Right foot stepping back, plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. On the inhale, lift all the way up into cobra. And then turn the chin to the right side. Look past your right shoulder behind you. Back to center, look to the left. Pass your left shoulder behind you. Back to center, lower all the way down, tuck the toes under, press back up into a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left heel up, left knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Left knee outside of the left arm, kick it back up. Knee comes into twist. Kick it back up. Knee coming into twist again and hold. Three, two, one. Kick it back up. Stepping your left foot forward. Warrior one. Take the arms out to a T. Draw back into back bend. Come back to vertical. Arms forward. Round just your mid and upper back. Chin toward the chest. Raise the arms up into a back bend. Back to vertical, open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior, triangle. Extended triangle.
All the way back up, reverse triangle. Bend the front knee, hands to the floor. Left foot, stepping back, plank. Inhale on breath, exhale all the way down to the belly. Then inhale all the way up to cobra. Turn the chin to the left, look past your left shoulder. Back to center, turn to the right. Back to center, bend the elbows all the way down, tucking your toes under. Press back up into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right heel up. Right knee in toward the nose. Kick up, open up the hips, bend the right knee and flip. Flip it back around, right leg up. Kundiyasana two, right knee to outside the right arm. Kick it out, either hold it there or lift the back foot. All right, when you're ready, kick it back. Three-legged dog, fallen triangle. Right leg over to your left side. Flip it back, three-legged dog, Kundiyasana one, right leg, left arm, arm balance. This is a twist. Flip it back, three-legged dog, stepping. You rise it forward, warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace. Lift the gaze upwards. Bow forward, devotional. Release your hands to the floor. Reach your hands over to the left side and bow forward. Walk your hands back, skandasana squat. If you can free up your hands, hands get in prayer. When you make your way back forward, step the right foot down, one legged crow, take the hands further forward left knee to the left arm. You can just stay here with your right foot down, pick up the right foot, or extend it out. Wherever you are, step the right foot back down, warrior two. Right foot should be forward. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor, right foot stepping back plank, Lower all the way down. Walk your hands a little bit wider off your mat. Come to your fingertips slightly further forward. Then lift the elbows up. Kiss your shoulder blades behind you. Press into your fingers. Lift up a little. Lift the elbows up. Draw the shoulder blades behind you. Press into your fingers. Lift up a little higher. Lift the elbows up. Draw the shoulder blades toward each other. Lift even higher. And holding here. All the way down, hands alongside the rib cage, tucking your toes, press up into a plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left heel up, left knee in toward the nose, kick up, open up the hips, bend the left knee and flip. Flip it back, left leg up. Kundiyasana two, left knee to the left side. Kick it out, shift forward, pick up the back foot. 
If you're not able to pick up the back foot, keep the foot on the floor. Step it back. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Fall in triangle, left leg over to the right side. And extend. Flip it back, three-legged dog. Kundiasana one, left knee to outside off the left arm again. Set it up. Slippery. All right, kick back up. Three-legged dog, stepping. The left is forward. Warrior one. Wrap the hands back behind you. Non-dominant thumb on top. Lift the gaze up. Bow forward. Devotional. Stay in the forward fold. Release your hands. Walk your hands over to the right side. Walk your hands back, Skandasana squat. If you can free up your hands, hands together in prayer. Otherwise, hands stay on the floor for support. When you're ready to release, it is one like a crow. As you step the left foot back down, walk your hands forward further, right knee to the right arm, either stay here, try to run your arms, left foot stays down, pick up the left foot, keeping your knee bent, or extending the left leg all the way back. When you're ready to come out, left foot steps down, warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot stepping back, plank. Lower all the way down. Again, walk your hands wider, slightly further forward. Come to your fingertips. Lift the elbows up. Kiss your shoulder blades toward each other. Press into your hands. Lift up a little higher. Lift the elbows up. Kiss your shoulder blades. Come up even higher. Elbows up. Kiss your shoulder blades. Come up even higher. Release all the way down. Hands alongside the ribcage. Tuck your toes. Press back up into a plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Walk your feet out about mat swift distance. Walk your left hand in toward the center line. Walk it in toward the middle a little bit more. Turn the right heel down. Right hand to the right heel, raise the left leg up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Right, you can keep your left leg extended as well, Dharma dog split. Release, step it back down, switch sides. So wherever your left hand is, you're going to switch to the right hand. Turn your left heel in. Left hand to the left heel. Shift to stand on the left leg. Raise your right leg up. Open up the hips. Bend the right knee. So you can keep your right leg extended for the Dharma Dog split. Or you can bend your right knee. Re-extend. Step it back down. Take the knees down, give you a demo. So we'll take that Dharma dog split into a headstand variation. The crown of the head comes to the floor. So same setup, All right? You're gonna take uh, the right heel in, right hand to right heel, take the crown of the head to the floor. Left leg up. You can bend your left knee, you can keep your left leg extended. So this is Dharma dog split with a headstand variation, okay? Take it to down dog, your feet are wide. 
Uh, if you want, you can walk your left hand a little bit wider toward the edge of the mat. Turn the right heel in. Take the right hand to right heel and step on the hand with the heel. Then bend your left elbow to land the crown of the head to the floor. Back to the middle. Then start to shift the weight into your right heel. Raise your left leg up. I think Simon is a little bit wide between your uh, right foot and your left hand. Draw your left hand in a little bit because right now when you take the head to the floor, your arm is in a, uh, an angular position. If your hand is closer in, you have a vertical line. Whereas Heather, I think you're too close. You want to work a little, yes. All right? So you can, yeah, keep the knee down first, right? Take the head down. Then lift the left knee and see if you can press into your right heel. <laughs> okay. All right. Good, Phoebe, good. Press into your right heel, yes. Now, can you open up the hips and extend the left leg? Open up the hips, so rotate the hips to the uh, right, left side. All right, come back to down dog. All right, so make sure you start in the, uh, let's start with regular down dog first. Let's measure that out. Down dog, whatever your down dog is. Then step the feet wider into about mat width. Then turn your left heel. Uh, if you want to walk your right hand a little bit wider towards the edge of the mat, it's okay. Turn the left heel in. Take the left hand to the left heel. Bend the right elbow, land the head to the floor, crown of the head. If that's not available for you right away, right knee can come down and you can start there. Crown of the head to the floor. Then start to lengthen out the right leg and then raise the right leg up. So you wanna stack your hips, open up the hips to the right side. You can keep your leg extended or you can bend your knee. For Aliona, I would take the head toward the back of the mat just about three inches. The head, yeah, the head back toward the back of the mat. That's good. Try that again. So then now you should be able to roll to the crown of the head a little bit better with a more vertical line with your torso. Yeah, I think that's better. Good, Simon. Good. Press strongly into your left heel, press strongly into your right hand, and see if you can open up the hips to the right side. Good. Keep pointing your right toes and extending. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. All right. Down dog. That's your Dharma dog split with a headstand variation. I don't know. Do you guys want to go further with that? <laughs> We'll wait for next time. Right leg up, three-legged dog. Stepping, your right foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up, warrior two. Reverse warrior. Suspended half moon. Shifting to stand on the right foot. Right hand never touching down. Once you connect to the balance, take both arms parallel to floor. Take it into full moon. Full Chapasana, bend your left knee. Left hand to bind to left foot. Right hand to bind to left foot. Revolve it. Left hand to the floor, right arm up. Stay there and revolve half moon or binding. Right hand to left foot. Revolve Chapasana.
floating dragonflies. So the left knee goes behind the right leg, grab the outside of the left foot, and then see if you can say stay suspended as you float into your dragonfly. Float it all the way back up into soldier. So you're gonna stack your hips and bow forward like a standing split. You can take super soldier. Right arm goes to the inside of the right leg to bind to the left foot. And then finally staying here, working on a standing split or taking into handstand. Handstand can be any variation you want. If you wanna just do preparation, you can shift to your tiptoes forward and back and just work on that. You can take regular handstand, you can puppy press it. All right, when you're ready to step it back, you're on your right foot in standing split, step it back, warrior one, open it up, warrior two, reverse warrior, hands to floor, right foot stepping back plank, let's lower all the way down, let's take sphinx, give you a chance to rest a little bit here, so once you take your forearms down, grab up with elbows, forearms to parallel, then press your belly and lower it down. Press your forearms down to lift your chest. Three more deep breaths. So as you take this, um, stationary mid back bend. Allow the wrists, your arms to rest a little bit, allow your legs to elongate and rest a little bit. All right, press your hands down, lift the elbows slightly up, draw the elbows out to lower your chest, walk your hands back, child's pose. Down dog. Left leg up. Stepping your left foot forward. Warrior one. Open it up. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. Suspended half moon. Once you get your steady suspended half moon, arms forward to full moon, arms are parallel to the floor. Then bend your right knee, chapasana, right hand bind to the foot, left hand binding to the foot. Release your binds, revolve your half moon. Square off, right hand comes down, Right heel goes back, left arm goes up. Then binding, left hand to right foot, revolve to pasana. So floating dragonfly. So left hand to grab out of the right foot as you maneuver to reach your right leg out to side. See if we can continue to stay suspended as you draw forward into your floating dragonfly. Make your way back up. Soldier, stack the hips. Stay there or super soldier. 
left arm switching to inside the left leg to bind to the right foot. And then releasing into your standing split. Or preparation for handstand, just shifting forward and back onto your tiptoes. You can puppy press a regular handstand. Beginning to finish up, you should be on your left foot. Step the right foot all the way back into warrior two. Reverse warrior, hands to the floor, left foot, stepping back, plank. Lower all the way down. Again, let's take sphinx. Right, so as we technically taking um, a rest here, we are also still working on the mid back bend. All right, let's make our way back to child's pose. So I changed my mind. I will give you the next step to that head stamp variation of Dharma Dog Split. So your options could be multiple things. You can stay in that shape that we were taking. You can come into the inversion. You can take one knee to the arm for the inversion, right? So let me show it to you first, All right? So the setup was in down dog. You walk your feet wider to about mat swift. I'm going to take the left hand a little bit wider. Draw the right heel in. So same setup, right? Hand to the heel. Crown the head to the floor. Right? You can then release and then shift into, whoop, try that again. Shift into your headstand here, right? Say first to split. Now, if you want, need to back the arm. And work here. Right? So it's a little bit wobbly because the one hand is behind you a little bit, right? So go slow. If you don't feel confident to come up, you don't have to come up. Maybe another modification could be, right, from here. Just like this is good enough. Just feel for it. Just get lighter and lighter on your tiptoes. All right? So if you want to try, let's try. All right? So from the shape of down dog first. So you want the distance of the hands and the feet. Then walk your feet wider about mat swift. Then let's start with the left hand going a little bit wider to the edge of the mat. Turn the right heel in. Then start with the right hand to right heel, crown of the head to the floor first. All right? As you press your right heel down, Press into your left hand, raise your left leg. Maybe that is good enough. If you want to free up your right hand to place it to the floor, then raise your left leg up nice and slow, slow, slow. See if the left foot can come off, the right foot can come off the floor. Right? It's wobbly. It's, um, let's see if I can adjust it for you. Let's see what happens. Um, 
Um, I think it's kind of right, right, right angle there. So it's the proper placement. I don't know if walking your hand a little bit wider will help you or further back will help you. I'm not quite sure, but it is about 90 degrees, which is where you need to be. It is because one arm is slightly behind you, one arm is to the to, uh, to slightly in front of you, right? So it's not the same as if you're symmetrical either side, right? Either behind you or in front of you. So it's kind of wobbly. That actually looks steadier for you. Does that help? Yeah, so wider helps, okay. Okay. Okay, so for Simon, that was a little bit better. Now you at least elevated your feet. I'm gonna try that with the arm extended out a little bit wider. wider but closer okay so that's another a measurement right so you went wider extended arm simon says wider but closer so i guess this is something that you play with and see what works for you right um i mean definitely we've done this one right where the farm is down this is your um universal um arm balance, right? When one side is forearm, one side is tripod. So we've done that already. So this is a kind of an evolution of that, right? So you're taking 90-90 with your arms about max width. You can also go extended arm a little bit wider, or you can still bend the elbow, go wider, and take it this way. So there are options. When we get to the other side, we'll try again, okay? Down dog. Let's take three tuck toe up dogs to neutralize that. All right? To down, from down dog, inhale, come forward into a plank. Hips draw down as you lift your chest into a back bend. Exhale, tip back to down dog. Inhale forward, hips down, lift your chest. Exhale, down dog. Inhale forward, hips down, lift your chest. Down dog. All right? Shape of down dog, walk your feet wide. Let the right hand go wider to the edge of the mat. Turn your left heel in. Left hand to left heel, crown of the head comes to the floor. All right, so that's where you want to start. Then, if you want to place your left hand down and see where you can go with this. So I find that if I lean my weight outwardly towards the right hand, so the hand that's behind me, if I leaned a little bit more toward that direction, I found it to be a little bit more easy to balance on it. 
because I found that when I lifted my right leg up, I kept wanting to fall to the left. So I leaned my weight over to the right and I felt a lot more steady. So anyway, think about that one. Down dog. Left leg up, crescent moon. Step the left foot forward, right knee comes down. Set up the base of your pose. And when you're ready, arms up. Wrap the hands back behind you, interlace. Release your hands inside the left foot, turn your left toes out, lizard. For those of you who want or have more flexibility in your hips, tuck the right toes under, lift the right knee, move the entire body further back, take the right knee down, walk your forearms back so that the left heel basically moves further forward. You can start to even roll to the side of the foot, but make sure your left foot is flexing. If you have even more, adjust one more time. Right, so essentially, my foot moved from back here to up here. Another option is if you can get flatter toward the floor, move back forward as you were originally with your hand supporting. Wrap the left arm around the shin, or you can go flat to the floor. I like to wrap the, uh, the ankle so that I can pull toward the ankle. Good, Phoebe. Good, Aliona. All right, begin to work your way back. Turn the left toes back forward, pyramid. Then, uh, pivot to your left heel as you lift the sole of the left foot off the floor. Then shift to your right tip toes, bend your right knee, and lower your seat a little bit. So it's almost like going into a half split. All right, re-extend, step the left back down, bend your left knee, transition into your pigeon, hands to the floor, raise the left leg up, open up the hips, bend the left knee. Re-extend the left leg, draw the left knee in, land the shin to the floor. Measure off of your pigeon, elongate, make sure you're nice and level, and once you're set, make your way forward. Once you get to your pigeon, feel free to play with whatever you'd like. You can unbalance some more, you can invert some more, you can take some um, other seated positions as you like. Yeah. 
you can take mermaids, etc. So for today, I'm going to work on some hips some more. So I'm going to take the left seat down, move the left heel further forward, so that the shin becomes more parallel to the front of the mat and flex the foot. Then angling the torso over to the right, I'm going to hook the left tricep to solve the foot, hands together in prayer, and twist. So going back to that kind of shape of dragonfly once again. You have three more breaths. All righty, let's start to finish up. Make your way back to down dog. So plant the palms to the floor. Tuck the right toes under and shift right back to the down dog and then take lots of movement side to side. All righty, take it back to down dog, right leg up, crescent moon. Step the right foot forward, left knee comes down, extra padding as you need. Once you're set. Lizard, hands to the inside of the right foot. Turn the right toes out. Walk your hands forward about a foot and forearms down. And so when we start off in lizard, most of the time, the foot ends up behind the elbow and the elbows are lined up with the shoulders. So in essence, the foot is slightly behind the shoulders, All right? So how do you get deeper into the pose, right? It's harder to move the front foot forward, right? So how do we do that to go a little bit deeper? You tuck the left toes under, lift the left knee, and then move the entire body back. So now, my shoulder and my foot is roughly lined up. If I want to go deeper, lift, shift back even more, walk further back. So now my foot is actually right, further than my shoulder. Now in this pose, if you go that far, I would recommend maybe rolling to the side of the foot to make sure you flex your foot. Right? If you press your foot down, it might be rather difficult. Right? If you want to try that, you can go deeper. And then alternatively, if you want to come back forward, you can take the other option, which is getting flatter to the floor. So you can take the hands to the floor, walk with one hand out, walk both hands out, whatever you like. Or I like to take this one because I like to hook the arm around the right 
ankle, right shin, and then pull toward it to get a little bit deeper. Three more breaths. All right. Let's start to make your way back up. Turn the right toes forward. Frame your rifle with your hands. Pyramid. All right, then start to pivot to the right heel. And then shift your left tiptoes, bend your left knee, maybe your left shin is about parallel to floor, and the hips actually shift back in space. So almost feeling like a half split here, but suspended in air, right? Begin to break, lift back up, step the right back down. Bend your right knee, transitioning into pigeon. Ground the palms, kick the right leg up, open up the hips and bend the right knee. Stay here for a couple of breaths, decompressing the front of the right leg. Okay, re-extend the right leg, draw the knee in. Land the shin to the floor, pigeon. Set up your pose. Elongate. And then once you're set, make your way forward. And then if you took any additional variations, feel free to repeat what you did on the first side. So I lift it, move the right heel further forward, shin is about parallel to front of the mat, flex the foot. Then taking the tricep to solve the right foot, hands together in prayer. All right, if you choose to take this pose, what you wanna do is press the arm the tricep just over the foot and lift the upper torso. Once you have to lift, you want to lean back. Now give you a deeper stretch into your uh, upper back on the right side. You have about three more breaths.
righty, let's begin to break. Lift back up, grounding the palms, tuck the left toes under and press back to the down dog, pedaling out the legs. All right, when you're ready, start to walk your feet forward toward your hands. Take your seat down, recline onto your backs. One back bend, bridge your wheel, walk your heels in, feel for the back of the heels with your hands. Once you're set, press your heels down, lift your seat. That could be a bridge with your arms parallel, or you can walk your hands underneath you, walk your shoulders further in. If you prefer wheel, hands your shoulders, elbows up, and then when you're ready, go ahead and lift. All righty, start to finish up, lower all the way down, hugging both knees in. Then keep the left knee in, extend the right leg out, left arm out to a T or downwards alongside the hips and twist to the right. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, twist to the other side. Take it back to center, hugging both knees in. And then step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward. Shove asana, find a relaxation.
beginning to draw your breath back in, moving your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. Then rolling over to the right, coming up to a comfortable cross-legged position. When you take a seat, taking a non-domination on top, reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. You know, from um, hands together in prayer, bowing forward, sealing the practice. You know, come up. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. And thank you for sharing your practice with me. My name is Stephen Chang, coming to you live from 333 Grand in downtown Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website, simhayoga.com, for the hybrid schedule, which is in person here at 333 Grand, as well as through Zoom. You can register for class through ubindi.com, and if you're watching this on YouTube, classes are $10, and you can pay through Venmo or PayPal. Payment information on the bottom of the video, as well as my website, simhayoga.com. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.